Hey, 7 up 7 here, and welcome to part 3 of my Guitar Hero custom tutorial. And this is the final part on the computer. The next two parts are going to be actually playing the disc. Uh, so in this one, you're going to be uh, getting all your files to put on the disc after you've customized them, and then burning the disc. So what you're going to want to do is go into the description, download a CD DVD generator, uh, from the link there and open that up. Now in this you're going to go to create new project DVD-ROM master disk, not the dual, but just the master disk. And then you're going to get this. And then what you're going to do now is the original uh, Guitar Hero 2 game disk files that you extracted into a folder. You're going to drag and drop them into the DVD generator in this order. Gen IOP Videos SLUS and System. And after you've done that, I'm just gonna close this out. Oops. Go to volume and then right here in this area you go to disk name and you're going to want to turn on your caps lock for this because everything you type is going to be in caps and then you go S L U S and it'll bring you over to this and now if you need to see this is the code for America 21447 so just look for what your code is so 21447 and then the producer name you go PlayStation again all caps and then choose your license area. I'm in America, so I go to America. And you don't really have to worry about any of this. So then go back to directory, hit File, Export IML. And then you can just save this anywhere, just custom, save. Okay, so now you can close all this. And then here I have my custom disk file. And with that, what you're going to do is open up this Genie program, IML to ISO. And what this is going to do is turn your IML file you just created into a disk file that can be just burned direct to a DVD. So click this little ellipse, is or whatever you call it, and then choose your uh, IML file you just created. Click open, it'll find it right there and then start. I'm just going to skip through this because it takes a little while. Okay, I am now done uh, rebuilding my ISO. This will come up. Um, just click OK and exit. Then go back into the folder you just saved it to. And now you'll have this little ISO file here. And that is a disk pretty much your Guitar Hero 2 custom disc. You just have to get it onto a DVD. So, what you do is open up DVD Decryptor. Okay. Select your file. That ISO file you just made. Then go to File. Wait, no. Go to Mode ISO Right that insert your DVD now if this is any different usually that is the default speed if I'm not mistaken um, but make sure you write your DVD at 4x or it will not work right that's very important so just put in your DVD I don't want to burn a DVD at this time or ruin one that I have so I'm not gonna put one in but what will happen you put one in and wait for this to turn like that'll turn green you know it'll light up so you can click it then just click right wait for it to finish and you're done so then you can watch part four for how to uh, tape and tissue mod a uh, ps2 to where you'll be able to switch out your discs which i will show you that in part five so go, so go check out uh, those ones, and uh, I hope this really helped. If you're using a fat PS2, uh, parts 4 and 5 of my series will not help you, because that will only help you for Slim. 
because uh, you can't tape and tissue mod and do it the same way with a fat PS2. What you have to do is go look up something for a slide tool mod. They're very easy to make with just an old credit card or whatever and just find a video about that. It's a little more tricky to pull off the actual discs change but you can still do it and it's free it doesn't cost a whole bunch of money like a mod chip or anything so you know you're all good uh, so yeah thanks for watching and I hope this was a really helpful tutorial um, I can tell you the honest truth it does uh, every other uh, tutorial tutorial video I've ever seen for uh, Guitar Hero Custom, it doesn't show you how to get this far, and that's where most people screw it up, so yeah, you definitely have to know all of this, so I really hope I was of some help with that, because I know I screwed up a whole bunch of DVDs trying to figure it out when I first started, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching.